Finally, an AV store built by people more interested in home theater than making money. For audio, video, and everything in between, visit store.audioholics.com. When we recommend surround sound to our friends and to you, the readers, we do it because we think it truly enhances the experience of home theater. And you know what? The biggest inhibitor to getting surround sound isn't always cost, it's the hassle of installing the system and running speaker wires. So what if you could get rid of the wires? And what if you could do so without compromising the type of speakers you could use? That's the idea behind this technology. Now this is the Imperion Audio Intimus 4T system. Nothing new, in fact we've already reviewed these speakers. Except that this system is powered by Summit Wireless speaker technology. Summit Wireless is a member of the WISA Association Advisory Board. WISA is the Wireless Speaker and Audio Association, a new industry group brought to you by Silicon Image, the folks who brought us HDMI. While we're demoing the Aperion Audio system here, WISA compliant products will be completely interoperable, so you can mix and match brands. And since WISA is looking to eventually integrate itself into AV uh, receivers, television, soundbars, and more, that can be pretty cool. Here's how this system works. Now, first, we plugged all six speakers into power outlets. Then we plugged in the Home Theater One wireless transmitter, that's uh, this thing right here, and fed it HDMI from our Denon AVR3312 receiver, which then went on to our Samsung LCD television. You with me so far? Okay. I mean, lucky for you, you can rewind. I got to rattle all this off in one take, but oh well. Okay, so then we pressed play. You know what? Everything worked. We got 5.1 audio from our DTS source, well, almost. Uh, when we scanned levels, the subwoofer was down at negative 64 dB for some reason, but we raised that up to taste, and everything was perfect. But how? Well, it turns out Aperion uses ultrasonic chirps that are emitted from tiny transducers built into each of the speakers. In fact, you can see them right on the front if you remove the grills here and here. Ah, they're on all of them, anyway. It sets everything up, creates a map of the speakers in your room. And really cool stuff. Now, status LEDs on the back of each speaker let you know if it's communicating correctly with the system. And aside from the LEDs, you don't get much else. There are no binding posts. Uh, nada. <laughs> now, on the back of the Home Theater One wireless transmitter, you have three HDMI inputs, one HDMI output, a coax, an optical digital input, and even two analog stereo eighth inch inputs. It basically serves as your AV receiver, except that the amps are in the speakers. On the front, you have a backlit display that shows you pertinent information. With the transmitter and remote, you can select the source, change the volume, and even set each speaker level individually if you want to tweak the system. And the tech, well, it's impressive. For one, the system can transmit up to eight channels of 24-bit, 48 kilohertz digital audio. So it can handle a full DTS HD soundtrack, though there's some down conversion of truly uncompressed True HD and DTS master audio to 48 kilohertz. Everything is transmitted on the uni band, which avoids some of the interference you'll get from using the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz routers, right? Now, we did notice a few areas where Summit Wireless System could be improved. For one, there's no on-screen display, and from across the room, the little LCD is almost impossible to read it. I mean, can you read it? Eh, neither can I. Now, secondly, if you lose the remote, you're kind of out of luck, because the HT1 has no buttons on the front. That means no volume control. Oops. <laughs> but hey, these are relatively small growing pains for a brand new system like this. All right, now let's talk price. The Imperion Audio Summit Wireless 5.1 model is $2,999. Now keep in mind, however, that this is a complete home theater system. You've got powered speakers, you've got um, switcher and decoder, and a wireless audio transmission system all wrapped into one. And there's currently nothing else like it on the market, at least not that we've seen. Now, If you want to opt for the 7.1 version, then you can add another $500 and do just that. When you add up all the value of what this is, it's not unreasonable, and it's got incredible promise. If you ask me, I believe the future is wireless audio and video. Consumers can really use it now a whole lot easier than they can use 3D or 4K televisions. With wireless speakers, anyone can have surround sound, and that's pretty cool. Now, this week's question is pretty obvious. What do you think about wireless powered speakers? Thumbs up, thumbs down, 
maybe a little bit iffy? Let us know by commenting on this video and consider subscribing to our channel to support us and help us bring you even more great videos. If you want to know what else we're doing, you can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash audioholics and follow us on Twitter at audioholics live.